First, they said that Pre President Trump had all these classified documents, and, and and then when we pointed out that he he classified them, they said, "Oh, that's not that's a lie. He didn't declassify them. He didn't have the power." And then we pointed to his January 19, 2021, declassification memo on the Crossfire Hurricane records and, and other records. And so that there goes the espionage charge. And then they said that he stole these records and that he violated all these government statutes. Then we pointed out the Presidential Records Act specifically says that the president could have these, and that fell apart. And then they're saying that then we have that Merrick Garland leaked out that he didn't personally approve this raid. He leaked that out to Newsweek after it blew up in their faces. That was a lie. Then the nuclear documents. They said he had nuclear documents to try to justify this raid. That was a lie. It's, they said that President Trump wasn't involved, or President Biden wasn't in, involved in this, this decision. That was a lie. Jonathan Sue, Deputy White House Counsel to, to President Biden, had to waive President Trump's claim of executive privilege. And so it's just constant lies. Now it's constant lies. It's constant leaks. Now they're getting desperate. And this pleading from the Justice Department was desperate. They have a picture in there to make it look like Trump had these classified records all over his office floor. It's nonsense. These were declassified. This was his personal copy. They were in his drawers. They were safe. They were under Secret Service protection. He has staff with security clearances, federally funded staff, federally funded office space, secure office space. This is a charade. It's because Trump has the crossfire hurricane records that he declassified and he took a personal copy. It is terrifying to Obama, uh, Biden, Hillary, James Clapper, Susan Rice, the FBI, the intel community, the deep state. They know that these crossfire hurricane records are damning, and that's what this raid was all about. They went to this biased magistrate judge who just recused from President Trump's civil lawsuit on June 22nd. Somehow his bias went away, and now they're in cover-up mode.